So the other part that I finished up was this upper control arm and I ended up splitting it out into two separate components in the assembly. So you have this traditional J arm on this side with these rod ends and a spherical bearing in the middle, but this was in a single shear configuration without this part, meaning that the bolt holding the spherical bearing to the top of the knuckle was in a single shear configuration, which means only one side of the bolt was supported. So you're relying on the shear rigidity of the bolt, which is not a best practice. Double shear means I'm capturing this on both sides so that the bolt is supported on both sides. And again, I just ended up making some variable fillets here to have it take this cool shape. This one's less of an airfoil because I wanted the bottom to be flat so that I could have this separate mounting bracket for the sway bar. Otherwise, I'd have to increase the envelope size of this part to include all this stuff, and then everything under it would be machined away, so it would increase cost significantly. Whereas this is all just one flat piece, so it can be really simple. One piece of stock, and then this bracket just gets bolted in the assembly. I guess the front of it does kind of have an airfoil shape here, but I couldn't go too crazy with the fillets because I had to make compromises when it came to these features to clamp the rod ends. I wanted these to be really, really strong because there's going to be a lot of lateral load on this part. 